local coverage you can count on continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report. Sports coverage you can count on. When it comes to girls soccer, Blackhawk Christian's last loss came last season. Through nine games, they've yet to be defeated, and the Braves currently rank number four in the state's 1A poll. With that, we're proud to honor the Blackhawk Christian girls soccer team as your Optimum Performance Sports Team of the Week. Hi, this is Matt Roth, manager of Ops. I'd like to be the first to congratulate this week's Team of the Week. Congratulations. We are here with Blackhawk Christian, the girls soccer team, 8 0 oh, 1 right now, joined by the head coach, Tim Kintz. Uh, obviously, this team's very cohesive. What is going right for this team so far this season? Um, I just think that uh, treating the team like a family, um, that's the kind of culture and environment that we want to foster. And, you know, we have problems just like real families have, but we deal with those in a positive and constructive way. And I think that just works out for everybody to, to relax and play loose. What kind of team is this? Because obviously maybe people haven't seen Blackhawk on the field this year. Uh, kind of describe what this team's about. Um, just a lot of hard workers. Um, we have one travel player that plays in the field. We actually have two travel players that play in goal, but they don't actually play goal for us. So that's kind of interesting. But um, uh, yeah, just playing hard and just wanting to do our best uh, for God's glory. Obviously, maybe there's a little bit of rivalry with you and guys in Canterbury. They knocked you out in that sectional final. How much motivation maybe this team take from a from a loss like that, a one that, that ended their season? Yeah, so that's the last time this team has experienced a loss was that sectional championship. Uh, went to penalty kicks, and we happened to, you know, just didn't come out, you know, where we wanted to. But Canterbury is always a, a rival for our school, but um, we have a good relationship, and, and hopefully we'll do well this year. We're here with the Braves, and, well, they're trying to raise the bar, so we're going to see if they can hit it off the crossbar from outside the box. Here we go. Let's see if they can hit the bar. Crossbar shots. Oh, oh, tips it. You're good. You're ready. Let's do this. Good luck. One for one. Oh, that's over the top. Oh, that was a good shot, though. Here you go. You're up. Oh, just a little bit high. She's wearing sunglasses because the future is so bright for Blackhawk Christian. Here we go. Oh, shoots she scores and the dab. Come on, bring it on. Oh, just a little bit high. All right, no pressure from the 18. Here we go. Oh, the wind kind of pushed that one down, I think. Let's go. Oh, almost right at the GoPro. She's trying to get on TV. Get over here, champ. That was pretty impressive. Thank you. Uh, what's going so right for this Blackhawk team right now? Um, what's going right is we're winning a lot, and um, <laughs> we're just playing together as a team and as a family and just have good team chemistry, and I think that's what's leading to our success. Obviously, the goal is not to hit it off the crossbar in games. It's to get in the goal. Kind of talk about this team. Describe what this team's all about on the pitch. Um, I don't really know. We're just all about like being together and just getting better every day. Obviously, the last couple of years, you guys have, I mean, sectional finals last year was a heartbreaker against Canterbury. How much motivation does this team take from that loss? Um, a lot. We really want to come back and get that sectional win because we see our potential in ourselves and we know that we can do it. All right, congrats to the Blackhawk Christian girls soccer team, your team of the week. Good stuff out of Blackhawk. That'll do it for sports. We're going to be back in two minutes.